Everybody loves popping a couple bucks into a vending machine and getting their favorite snack. But did you know that there's a vending machine in Singapore where you can get luxury cars? When I heard about it, I had to take a closer look. So, imagine you're hankering for a nice Lamborghini or a Porsche or Ferrari. You know, a casual Saturday of shopping. Well, if you're in Singapore, that might not be the easiest task to accomplish. Or at least it wasn't until 2017. That's when Autobahn Motors Company, or ABM, opened up the coolest vending machine you will ever see. It's a giant building that spans 15 stories up, and it's only about a half a block wide. And we'll get to why it has to be so narrow in a minute. But that's pretty much all the lateral space it needs, because it's a fully functioning vending machine that only pops out high-class luxury vehicles. With the press of a button, you can purchase one of the 60 cars inside the vending machine. On its ground floor, you can scroll through a variety of sweet, sweet rides on the touchscreen menu. Once you find the one you want, select it, and within two minutes, the car will have been retrieved from the building above and sitting in front of you in the lobby. It's not a magic trick either. It's sitting there because of a baller system controlling the inner mechanisms of the vending machine. Each luxury car sits on its own portion of a laddered structure, and each portion of the structure moves completely independently of the others. That means it can basically juggle around all the cars inside, depending on where the car that's chosen is currently sitting. Not only that, it has a patented wishbone system that helps reduce the amount of air and wind resistance inside the building. Because if you have floors and segments of floors constantly on the move, it can wreak havoc on the air inside. And the whole system is then controlled by a tablet. It's exactly like your home theater setup, only not at all. It's way cooler. And I'm also sure you're cool enough to hit that subscribe button, just saying. And Gary Hong thought it would be cool when he came up with the idea several years ago. Apparently, he was in Toys R Us at the time with his son. They were looking at the Matchbox cars, and Gary noticed how they were packaged in a vertical box, with each car basically in its own like showroom of plastic. Back then, Gary was simply a luxury car fanatic, but had yet to find a way to make his dream of opening a supercar dealership in Singapore a reality. But suddenly it occurred to him, if he could build vertically, like the Matchbox car set, he wouldn't need to take up a lot of space. This was important because Singapore is an intensely crowded city. There's really no extra space for someone to just use up to store cars. But with a vertical dealership, the problem is solved. So he built his dream business and created the world's most expensive vending machine. In addition to solving the space problem, Gary knew the hype surrounding this type of dealership would also make Autobahn Motors Company stand out from the competition in the city. In addition to gaining worldwide press from his invention, Gary's also been approached by various developers looking to potentially incorporate it into their dealerships or other types of businesses. Whether or not these businesses will try to replicate Gary's vision in Singapore itself remains to be seen, and it seems likely they'd want to hold off. Because in addition to the cost of a vehicle itself, car ownership in Singapore is incredibly expensive. In an effort to keep crowding down, the government has regulations that limit the total number of cars. They do this by only issuing a certain number of permits, known as COEs. If you want to buy a car, you have to make a bid on a COE first. Between the COE and the taxes, you're spending more than whatever you paid on your car. In 2017, when Gary opened up shop, it cost about $78,000 US dollars for a car, a compact car. But you can't blame the government in Singapore for wanting to reduce the amount of automobiles on the roads. They realized that like 12% of the land in the city was taken up by roads. So they've spent the last several years aiming for what they call a car light city. And they hope that by making cars incredibly pricey, it'll encourage people to take public transportation and walk and ride bikes. And TVH, it sounds like the people of Singapore have been pretty chill about it. There hasn't been a lot of opposition, especially since Singapore has been pouring money into making their public transportation system better and better. Plus, they have a thriving bike sharing system too. Fortunately, in the US, it's a lot cheaper to own a car, which is one of the reasons Carvana opened up similar car vending machines beginning a few years ago. They actually predate Gary's supercar building. But then again, Carvana mostly offers modestly priced used cars. So it's not exactly the same experience as pushing a button and watching a Lambo Aventador get dropped off at your feet two minutes later. Still, if you're in the US in one of the 35 locations nationwide, you can check out one of the Carvana vending machines. The process there is pretty similar, only they give you like a special coin to drop in the machine in the lobby, 
and then your car is fetched by the mechanisms above. Since there's a lot more space in the US, the vending machines aren't built straight up and down, but they also usually house about 30 cars, so Gary's got them there. If you think you'd ever buy a luxury supercar from a vending machine, let us know in the comments section.